Today we're going to be um, creating the data pack in Minecraft. So I'll show you how to do it. So step number one, we need to create a new world. So just do anything. Now that we're in this world, um, we are going to code it. That okay, first stay in Minecraft and once you've created that world, leave it. This will make it easier to access the world. Now here, click edit and open its world folder. Now, when you're here, then go to data packs, data packs and create a new folder and name, first let's go into that. Create a new folder here and rename it to whatever you want. It's, this is going to be the name of our data pack. So remember that. I'll just name it tutorial because it's a tutorial. Data pack. In here, create another folder, name it to data and now before we do, do this take this and open it up in any text editor that you use so i'm just going to open it with i'm going to use visual studio visual studio code you can use any text editor you want drag and drop it and then here now we're in here now click tutorial here and add a new file called pack.nc meter if you do not write the exact same that i'm showing you your data pack will not work sadly click enter and you've just created a text file here we need to write some code so no, not really code, we're going to write some JSON. So, okay. Okay. Now, just follow the code that I'm going to write right now. So, first, do these squiggly brackets. I don't know what they're called. And um, click enter. Then here, you need to put these quotes and write pack. Don't write anything else, just pack. Here, add a colon and then add another of these brackets and then click enter again and then add this quote again and in here you need to write pack format next add a colon and now this is the part where you need to write the version of which version you're going to have the data pack for so right now the latest is 1.19.2 you could be watching this in the future it will be a different number for 1.19.2 is 10 but if you're on 1.16 i think it's 6 um i'm not really sure but you can search the, the pack format this is 10 and now we are done but if, if we want to add a description we could add a comma enter again and then here you write description description and then here just write anything you want i'm going to write tutorial data pack next when you're done with that in data Create a new folder called Minecraft. Call it that, don't name it anything else. And then in data again, create another folder. And you can name this one anything you want. So I'll do I'll name it to tutorial. And done. Now today I'm going to teach you about functions in data packs. Functions are one of the many cool features in data packs. So, another 
um, file, no, folder called functions and click enter again and then here in here add another text file and name it to give no I mean tick dot mc function and then create another one which is called load dot mc function now once you've got these files done with then um, go into Minecraft, create another folder called tags. This is important, don't misspell for anything. And then create another one called functions. In here, add another text file called load.json and, and tick.json. You will get an error, but that's because we haven't filled anything in, well, in the files. In the load.json, go into your load.json and write this piece of code exactly. Whatever you um, wrote that, then write that here and then do load. Now this is exactly the same for tick, but you just change this. Go in there, paste that again and change this to tick. And now we're done with this stuff, wacky stuff. Now we can finally go into load.mc function and here write anything you want and it will happen in the game. So I'll write, let's do a simple command. Oh, one thing is in data packs you, you can use, you use Minecraft commands. So if you knew like many commands on Minecraft, you can use it here right now. That's why it's easier to do this than making mods. It's, mods is like a completely another story. So give and I'll do at p a this give a diamond sword. Diamond sword or diamond axe. And we'll give like, I don't know, three of them. And now just save this code that you've just done. On Mac, you can just go here, save here, or alternatively you can use Command S. But if you're on PC, it'll, I think it's Control S, something like that. Now you can go back in the game, load your Minecraft back up, into, in your world that you created, or in an original world that you put the data pack on. And are you ready? Just write slash reload. Done. And we got our diamond axes. Whoa. We got three diamond axes. Fix this grass up a bit. I mess up every world. Let's do that again. Got three diamond axes, or alternatively, we could do slash function here. Write the function that you wrote that in. Load done. We got six diamond axes. Six diamond axes. Can you believe that? Six diamonds there. Okay, now we could stop the game for now. Go back in your studio or whatever text editor you're using. And I'll tell you what load and tick is. Load.mc function is like a normal command block. Basically a command block, but you know, you can write multiple lines. But, but tick is like a repeating command block. If you write anything in there, it will repeat it. So I'll show you. Let's do effect, give, add p speed and we'll do speed for like one one second speed two and yeah and then save your code command s for me go back in your game 
it will pop up now slash reload and you got speed Woohoo! one bonus thing with um data packs is you get infinite you see that that is infinite it's it was basically a repeating command block and we got speed two i think yes speed three there you go you can slash reload it again or if you wanted to hit one thing to happen then you could do slash function load diamond axis it gives and then you can go back now one more thing we could do is like let's do this when we run this function then five creepers will spawn no just one creeper five is too, way too many execute uh, p run summon creeper done save the code slash reload Oh yeah, easy, done, a creeper just spawned, that is so cool, slash reload, and a creeper spawned, ready for battle, and uh, thank you guys for watching, and bye.